Hi, here I am again, back on track. Uh, I just uh, now installed the replicator to uh, the effects loop of my amplifier. And as you can see down here, when I switch on the replicator, the tape is constantly moving. That's something really cool, a very nice side effect. Uh, when you look down on your effects board and uh, besides all the flashing lights, the blinking lights, there's something really constant in motion telling you I'm working hard for you here. <laughs> okay, let's start um, right where I stopped with the two delay heads, the two different sounds that this pedal gives you. Uh, let's start with the long head where I said it's uh, a little bit more clean and modern. Let me show you this with a normal clean sound. This is the sound. Nothing special, just dry and clean. Let me add the delay. As you can hear, it's a medium delay. Uh, it's pretty stable, but it already has this little bit pitchy uh, sound and this typical sound of a tape. So let me play the same with the delay. As you can hear, it's a totally different thing. It's like another dimension is added to your signal. So let me change to the short head, the short delay, and let me adjust just by hand at the same time. Sounds good? This short delay sounds different. It's more lo-fi, it's a little more pitchy, already a little bit distorted, but very harmonic overdrive. Let me play the same chords with this short delay. sounding and it adds more of this kind of chorus effect. A little bit pitchy in there but the whole signal is always in motion. What makes it so musical. Very very nice. So there's a lot you can do with these two delays either if you use them separate or if you combine them. Okay let's come to a second thing what I explained before the tap tempo. The tap tempo, as I said, uh, it's not the tempo that you tap in exactly, it's a dotted delay. Uh, let me show it with the same sound that I have now. A dry clean sound. That's my signal. Now a tap. Same tempo, one, two, three, four. Let me turn it on. Here we are. Let me show you an example that is perfect for this. Um, let me add a little more delay level and feedback and show you an example of Mr. David Gilmore of Pink Floyd. I guess you all know this. second example with the same thing uh, using the tap delay but with a heavier sound and another sound example uh, a song by Van Halen in talking about love rest in peace Mr. Van Halen uh, let me show you the sound I will use the same kind of delay I will just add a little bit of delay level lower the feedback and I will tap the tempo this works. So... Great sound. Yeah, I really love it. So, let's directly move on to the next thing. 
uh, I was talking about uh, combining both delays, uh, where the first short delay is starting at a slapback delay up to 500 milliseconds. You can really produce very long delays with the second head, the long head. Let me show you this with a, let's see, crunchy sound. Little bluesy. I will just take the short head, little less delay level, little less feedback. So now I have a typical slapback delay. Now let me add the long delay. As you can hear, the slapback delay, the very short delay, is still there, but it's more in the background, the volume is lower, and uh, uh, in, in, in the foreground you have the long delay. Let me show you an example that is, is cool sounding for this. So let me show you another second example for combining both delays, but with a very, very long delay time, uh, a pretty high delay level and a long feedback, which sounds like this. As you can hear, the delay is a little bit moving up and down because the delay of the short head is a little bit lower than of the long head. Let me give you a nice example and also with a nice side effect in the end that you can create with this replicator, vintage style. Cool effect, I like it. Let me give you one last example uh, with a hot distorted solo sound. And I've combined, again, the short and the long delay. And let me show you how this sound, the Replicator Deluxe, will bring your solo to a higher level. Yeah, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching this quite long workshop. Um, but I hope this was uh, some good information for you about this Replicator Deluxe. Me personally, I directly fell in love with this pedal and I really owned lots of pedals in my life. I hope it made you a bit curious to maybe check out this pedal near a shop to you if you have the possibility or get some more info on the T-Rex website. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me here. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe and healthy and keep on rocking.